Welcome back to our SAP MM training again. And today we're going to start our next topic uh, within MM training, which is procurement of external services. Okay, so what are the external services that we can procure using the SAP system? So the topics that we're going to cover today, they are what is the important master data used in procurement of ex external services? Basic procurement process for external services, service master record and service conditions, uh, what about the structure of the purchase order item for services, service entry sheet referencing and per in a purchase order, add unplanned services during the service entry process and finally accept entry, entry uh, service entry sheet and finally create an invoice for your service purchase order. So let us start our topic first with external services in procurement. Now before we start, I would like to give you a real time example that in which scenario you're really going to use it. Okay, so just a business example. So suppose in your company, uh, maintenance work such as replacement of defective fans or fluorescent tubes are to be carried out by an external service provider. Okay, so if you're working in a company and they need to do some repair work, Okay, so repair work can be something like to call an electrician, to call a plumber, to call a cleaner, can be anything. Okay, can be one-off or can be a regular service as well. Okay, so this type of service uh, we can create in, in SAP system and we can also create a purchase order for that. So that's the scenario and uh, then you have been asked to create a service master record in SAP system and then create a service purchase order and all the subsequent functions. Okay, so as a project team member, you are supposed to set up all the master data and the purchase order process and all the following function in the invoicing and everything. Okay, so let's see how we can do it in SAP system. So first part we'll start with service master record. Okay, service master record. So before we start this one, let me explain you something else as well. So previously when we have seen the topic like uh, procurement of um, stock or consumable materials. Okay, so in that one we have seen the process flow as first we created a purchase order, right? So what purchase order will do? It will get the data from master data like vendor master and um, material master and all that, all that. Okay, so first we created the purchase order and then we created uh, good receipt. Okay, using MyGo. And then finally, we created an invoice using Miro. Okay, so that was the, that was the process we have seen earlier. Okay, now this time, there's little bit difference here and the difference is when I say procurement of um, of external services okay so the only difference will be here that will be let me copy this one in the step number two okay so here everything is same only the step number two is different Okay, here we'll create a service purchase order, that is fine. It will also get the data from master data, that is fine. But in the second step, okay, we do not create a good receipt, but what we do is, we create a thing called service entry sheet and acceptance. Okay, so that's the extra step that I'm going to show you in a minute as well. And finally, we'll do the invoice. So first and third step, they are common but the middle step is only different okay and also the middle step which is called service entry sheet and acceptance what you can do is you can divide the second step in two parts as well that's optional okay so i'll explain you later how you can do it but for now what we'll do we'll create one more step out of second step okay so acceptance as a third step so second step is divided into two parts which is service entry sheet and acceptance so let's have a look so first of all we'll discuss the master data 
used in the external services. Okay, and then we'll move on to purchase order, service entry sheet, and all that. So master data, so service master record. Okay, service master record. So as you know, why what is master data? Like we have seen in a lot of previous classes, that we need the master data to get the record or get the more data when you create a purchase order. Okay, same is the case of service. So we can also create a service master data. So service master data can be created and it can not only be, uh, you can use it in um, in things like in, in MM, okay, but you can also use in other modules in SAP like uh, project system, PS, and also plant maintenance and all that. Okay, but for now, we'll be only discussing MM. So how uh, we can use the service master data in the MM purchasing process. So the transaction code that is for master data is AC03. Okay, you can follow this menu path if you want. Logistic, material management, service master, service and service master. Okay, AC03. So if I show you this one, you can go to logistic, material management, um, service master, service and AC03. Or you can directly type here AC03. So when you go to this transaction, you can see this, this is the unique transaction for master data only for services. Okay, like for the other master data we have seen before we used vendor master different transaction, material master different transaction. But for service master there is only one transaction which is AC03. So in the system you can see on the left hand side you have a lot of services already created here, right? A lot of our service already created. You can double click on any services on the left hand side. Let's say this is cleaning services. If I double click on that, on the right hand side it will show you that cleaning services detail. Okay, so that's a description, there's activity number, it is assigned a service category which is service and base unit of measure is day. Okay, and there's also assigned the uh, material group or the service group and the valuation class and all that. Okay, so you can see all the data is assigned here. Okay, if I see another one say um, maintenance, if I double click on maintenance, you will see a different one, maintenance, whose activity number is that. It also has a base unit of measure as HR, uh, which is hours and material group and valuation class and all that. Okay, so I created some um, test um, services here. If you look at the bottom one, test cleaning services, if I double click on that, that's the one I created earlier, that GS. Okay, so here what we'll do is, we'll be creating some um, master data here. Okay, suppose I'm working in a company and, and I was told to uh, procure the external services for, say, um, I'll write here, say, electrician. Right, electrician. We need to call the electrician to fix a machinery or to fix uh, uh, electrical appliances. Could be anything. Okay. So what the best thing you can do is when you create a new master data, you can copy the existing master data. Either I can copy this one, or if I click on copy, see if I click on copy, it's very easy. I just need to give a new name and description. Everything else will be copied. Or if I go back one step. You can, if I need to go into, back into the transaction, or you can click on this little create button, okay, to create a new one. If I click on this create button, it will open a blank screen for me. Here you can give a, uh, some small ID, okay, like I can, I can call it, say, electrician gonna come and he's, that person is going to replace maybe the machinery or maybe it could be a fan, could be a lamp, could be anything. Okay, so I can call it say um, fan. Okay, fan is not working. I need to call a. I need to. We need to fix a fan. So we need to call the electrician. We need to fix a fan, and also we need to fix a say uh, a lamp or can be machinery. Could be anything. Okay, so I'll call it fan, and here I'll give it a say electrical fan. Okay. 